Afternoon, guys. I just came out here uh, making a phone call and I'm getting ready to head over to mom and dad's and <clears throat> just kind of visit with them a little bit and maybe do some stuff. But uh, came out here to the alfalfa field. Um, we just got a bunch of rain yesterday morning. Um, and then it cleared up later in the day and then today is nice and sunny and warm. I think it's pushing 80 right now. Uh, I no-tilled Taff in this field on Monday, which was Memorial Day. This is Friday, midday, and I was going to show you I already have some Taff up. So, let's take a look. All this little stuff right here, that's Taff. Taff, Taff, it's very small, but it is there, so I think we're gonna, I think it's gonna do okay. Okay, Kate, you want to tell them what we're doing? Guess not, okay. We are going to hook the trailer up, we're going to get a load of round bells, take over to mom and dad's as we go. Yeah, and then we've got a guy coming to get 90 square bales. So I'll be over there for that. that he's coming at two. So we're gonna get the trailer hooked up, load some round bales with the skid steer, and be ready to roll. Go across the road, we got those bales staged. Go over, we got those bales staged over there, and then we're gonna go back and get the skid steer and the stinger. Neighbor's out riding the horse. Cater. Park the truck back there. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna carry this stinger over to the drive so I don't have to drive through the yard. I don't think it'd run it up too bad, but this is pretty heavy and it don't have a lot of surface area on the ground. So I wanna manhandle this thing over there and I'll show you, hopefully I don't get stuck. I almost got stuck going out there, but so we we'll just have to go around the wet spot. I'll show you, there's actually some water standing over here in this field, which is not good, but, all right. Get this thing moved, get the skid steer, get the hay loaded. Right, Cade? Move the tractor and the drill out of the way. Now we're gonna get the skid steer and uh, hook the stinger up and be ready to roll. stuff in here and we're gonna pull the truck down here to the road because I like to make sure that it's actually gonna move uh, I do have four-wheel drive I obviously have street tread on my tires so it doesn't look like it sank too much but uh getting going is the problem once we get going I know we'll be all right so Kate's over there with ginger ready Kate Get in the truck, come on. As soon as you say the truck, get in the truck, get in the tractor, he's ready. Ain't no lolly yagging for him. All right guys, we got her in four. I'm just gonna ease out on the clutch and see if she'll go. Without spinning out. Oh yeah, look at that. Right on. Right out here. Water's going
steer back over here. We got the barn closed up, the trailer loaded. Got the truck in a spot that I don't think we're gonna get stuck in. We're ready to get in the truck and head to Momo and Pawpaws, right, Cade? Right? He's watching these trucks go by. Ah, uh, look at that rig there. Oh, 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 oh. Over here is doing pretty decent, really. We're definitely wet from that four or five inches of rain. Uh. Yeah, Kate's talking about this load of hay here. However, she blows. Ready to roll. He likes riding in this truck. Because I'll show you where what his view is. Oh, yeah. That's his view. He can see Ginger back here. Well, she's standing up, not when she's laying down. All right, ready to roll, Kate? Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, she's going. We're headed down the road and uh, catch up whenever I get to mom and dad's unless something bad happens, so hopefully I don't catch up with you before then. See you there. Pull up around the scale at the local feed mill. We're gonna see what these bales average. Obviously, I won't be able to tell us that right now, but we're gonna weigh. And uh, then I'll, when I come back, go back home, I'll get an empty weight, and we'll know what the bales weigh. So we'll start here. Okay, so we're right around that 20 mark. Twenty-one and something. Looks like. All right. So anybody's never messed with one of these, it's just a balance scale. I don't know what the proper terminology is for it, but I just shoot for this in the middle. Whenever this stuff's bouncing around. That's where we're at. So you read it, we're at 21,350 pounds. You always lock this down where you leave. That way it's not bouncing around as you pull on and off the scale. So 21,350. Remember that. Well, no, but you would call that weight we just got our gross. So the gross is the overall weight of the vehicle, the tow vehicle, the towed vehicle, which is the trailer, the cargo, all that stuff. So our total weight is our gross weight. And then when we come back, we'll get what we call our tear weight, which is our vehicle with no load. And then our cargo weight will be the difference between those two weights. So 21,350 minus whatever our empty weight is will be what our weight for these 10 bales is, then we'll divide that number by 10. We'll get an average bale weight for 10 bales. So, all right, let's get the dads and get these unloaded. I just gotta figure out what we're gonna do to get them unloaded, where we're gonna put them, all that good stuff. First, we gotta get Kate out and get Ginger out. I haven't forgot about you, big boy. Were you worried? Go get to Mama. Yeah. You excited? All right, guys. We loaded out 90 bales. Got those two partial stacks from the stacker down here out of the way. And some of that stuff out of that up there. Another happy couple of customers. Right, Cade? Now we're gonna unload the round bales. Hopefully. All right. See if she'll start. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna jam some stuff in here. We're gonna put the baler in over here. We're gonna try to see if we can put the tether in on this other side. Tracker at the other end of the barn. 
We'll put the stacker in somewhere. We'll see. What do you think, Cade? Yeah. Backing it in. Tether. We'll see if she's gonna fit in here. I don't know. I think we may take this wagon. I may take it to the other barn, start unloading it, get it out of the way. So we put that tether and that stacker in here. Good job. Keep it going. A little more. Went in and let mom some something eat a little bit, and she did some made some laps and. Dad is staying in there with Cade. And I'm going to unload the last 60 bales off this wagon here. Then we're going to pull the wagon out, shut this door. I'm going to park this wagon out here out of the way. I'm going to go get the stacker. And we're going to put the stacker in the hoop building. Put this tractor in the hoop building. And then probably have enough room to put the Kubota in the hoop building. I am stacking this by hand. It's flat in here. Um, I'm doing that because I don't have anything here mechanically to do it with anyways. With dad's tractor kind of out of commission, uh, I wasn't gonna haul my skid steer over here just to unload 140 bales. So we're just doing it by hand, which is fine because if you follow me much, this is the first year I've even attempted to do it mechanically. So my entire life has been doing it by hand. So this is par for the course. Unload it, guys. Unload it. Ah, feels good when you get it unloaded. For sure. All right, get this thing away. Just gonna put it in the shed before it starts raining for these two weeks. Cade's turn to drive. Go ahead, dr Cade, drive it. Drive it. There you go. He loves his tractors. Sure enough. Kind of like he left the brake on or something. Corner in the barn. Got the stacker in, got the tether in, got the square baler in, got the other tractor in, all the hay in. Job well done, I'd say, right, Kate? Uh, uh. Tractor.